Learning with your students, Ms. Denisa here. Today we will have our last SST lesson for this year. And this lesson will be a review, a review for Unit 6. Unit 6 was about the marketplace. So we will remember everything we learned about the marketplace. Now, Let's see, what was the big idea in our chapter in Unit 6? What are markets? Markets, in a market, people trade goods and services with each other. They make choices about how to spend money. And our first lesson was about goods and services. We learn what are goods, what are services, and what are money. Goods are things that people make or grow to sell, yes? Goods, for example, is you can see in the pictures are different kinds of food or different kinds of toys, clothes, furniture, everything you want to buy to use it as an object, generally speaking. Services are kinds of work people do for others for money. So, you can offer a service of transportation as a taxi driver, or you can be a carpenter, you can uh, make furniture, or you can be a hair stylist, you can um, have uh, people uh, done their hair, or other kinds of services. For example, if you go to, um, let's say, uh, to a veterinary with your dog, um, you pay for a service for the, vet, the doctor to check your dog. Now, for these goods and services, we need money. Money is what people use to pay for goods and services. So in this lesson, we learn that many people work selling goods or services, and people use money to buy goods and services. Here it is again, a kind of chart on the right, on the left side, you can see some goods, and on the right side, you can see some examples of services. Now, Let's see our second lesson. Lesson two was about jobs people do. And we learned that a job is the work you do to earn money. And you can be, what kind of jobs do you know? You can be an artist, you can be a surgeon, yes, a doctor, a nurse or a mechanic or a bodyguard, a reporter, doctor, farmer or teacher or astronaut, why not? And business, a business means to sell goods and services. For example, I had a neighbor. She was uh, 10 years old and she had a small business selling lemonade. Yes, that was her small business. But there are big, big and small businesses in our world in our market. Now, let's see what is a volunteer. We learn that a volunteer works without pay to help people. So from time to time, it's nice to work as volunteer, to volunteering, for example, to clean your school. See here in this picture how kids help their school and they keep it nice and clean. Now, We learn that there are many kinds of jobs people do to earn money. And we learn that people can also volunteer to help others. So I think you enjoyed the les this lesson and it was a very interesting one. And also the next lesson, buyers and sellers. In this lesson, we learned about market, trade, and save, save money. 
we learn that a market is a place where people sell and buy goods. And you know, the classical markets where you can buy um, fruits and vegetables and uh, you know, the supermarkets like Carrefour, Monofri, Almira, where you can buy foods, but also non-food products like clothes, like soap, like uh, uh, flowers, why not? So this is why we call them supermarkets, because you can find there everything you need. Now, trade means to give one thing to get another thing. For example, you trade in a market, you give money to buy fruits, yes? Or maybe you want to sell your artwork and you will receive money. Now, when you have money, what is it smart to do? It's good to save money to why to keep some money to use later it's a smart use to do to learn to do so in this lesson we learned that buyers trade money with sellers for goods and services and people save some money to use later and here you can see in this picture different types of um tradings here you See, you can buy popcorn here, you can buy a tea or a coffee, or sweets, ice cream, hot dog, bakery. All these are little shops that sell goods. And our last lesson was about factory, working in a factory. What is a factory? A building in which people use machines to make goods. Remember the uh, video about how you can make cars or the one when you saw how you can make silk or here in the picture you can see how you can make uh, apple juice. And we learned in this lesson that a factory is a building in which many people use machines to make goods. And people in a factory have different jobs. So you can see here again, some pictures inside a factory. And that was a very interesting unit, a very interesting chapter that helps us learn about things we use, we deal with in real life. I hope you enjoyed this chapter and very good my dears you did it great job and i'm proud of you take care bye bye